The long neck, a crude yet effective weapon, one that forgoes everything else to deliver as much damage as possible in one bullet. Let me teach you a thing or two about this iconic weapon. One of the long neck's greatest strengths is that it is incredibly easy to craft. It will cost you 95 metal, 20 wood, and 25 hide. And this is all crafted in a smithy. The long neck is by far one of the cheapest guns, only beaten by the shotgun, barely, and by the simple pistol by a good amount. The long neck can shoot a large variety of rounds. It can shoot normal bullets, trank darts, shock darts, and pheromone darts. Of the four bullet types, only the normal bullets are viable in PvP. This is because they travel instantly and have no bullet drop off, while trank, shocking trank, and pheromone darts move at a similar velocity to bow arrows and are unlikely to do any significant damage to a target even if they do hit them. In order to craft a bullet, it will require 2 metal and 12 gunpowder. However, it is worth noting that this will craft 2 bullets, making the real cost of a bullet 1 metal and 6 gunpowder. Upon hitting a target, a normal bullet will do 280 damage, although this is only for humans. Although this may seem like a lot, and it is the highest of any gun, it is unlikely to kill a target in one shot, even on the head, if they are wearing flak armor. Trank darts are best used in taming because of the high damage that flak provides, meaning even if you land a dart, it will not knock a player out and they will recover from the effects very quickly. Whereas with a bullet, the damage to the armor does not recover until repaired. So on to the actual effects of the trank dart, and keep in mind this does get a little complicated, so try to stick with me here. A trank dart will do 26 damage to target. It will then provide 6 times that in torpor. Then it will provide 2.5 times that over the next 5 seconds in torpor. So to make it a little simpler, upon hit it will apply 156 torpor, and then over the next 5 seconds will apply 65 for a total of 221 torpor overall. Keep in mind this does in fact scale with the quality of the rifle. To craft the trank dart, it will require 3 narcotics, 2 metal, and 1 bullet. The shocking trank dart does the exact same damage as the normal trank dart, except the multipliers are doubled, meaning on hit it will do 12 times the damage and 5 times over the next 5 seconds, meaning upon hit it will deal 312 torpor and over 5 seconds it will deal 130 for a total of 442. Shocking trank darts to craft take 3 biotoxin, 2 metal, and 1 trank dart. They are the only ammo type to spoil with a 4 hour spoiler. If they spoil, they will return to normal trank darts. Now pheromone darts are by far one of the most unique ammo types, but being unique doesn't always mean it's good. A pheromone dart will cause all wild creatures to attack whatever it hits for the next 30 seconds. While this might seem very powerful when you think about it, it's a minor inconvenience at best as you could get on a flyer and get away. To craft one, it will take 3 ammonite bile, 2 metal ingots, and 1 trank dart. However, I would never recommend crafting one of these. They're useless in PvE, and they're very, very bad in PvP. The long neck only has a capacity of 1, meaning after every shot it has to reload, and the reloads aren't exactly short either, with taking 4.3 seconds each. This means that in 1 minute, a long neck can only fire 13 rounds, for a total of 3,640 damage per minute. This is by far the lowest of all guns. Now while this might paint the gun in a bad light, it's important to remember this is most likely the most used gun in PvP because the reload doesn't really matter. It's a traditional sniper. You reload, you take cover, and you take another shot. And the high damage is perfect for that because you can do the most amount of damage in a very short amount of time. So the obvious conclusion after what I said might be to put a scope on it, and a lot of people do this, and of course I can see why they do it, but I personally forgo the scope entirely because of the large amount of sway it induces. Now the sway is really bad when you're standing up, it's almost manageable when you're crouched, and it's 
almost negligible when you're laying down, but this just forces you to be a lot less mobile and sort of contradictory. It makes you have less range because it makes it harder to take the long shots when there's sway. And one of the other things to notice is most games include a hold breath option to get rid of the sway for maybe five seconds, let's say. But the arc devs are lazy, so you just have to deal with the sway. And personally, I avoid the scope entirely. In order to optimize a long neck, you have to understand how to use it. This isn't a weapon that you'll be rushing people down with. You're going to be shooting from far away, whittling their armor down so that you can make a final push and end the fight. This isn't a gun you usually want to bring by itself because it's no good against tames and it's no good up close. I recommend pairing it with some sort of shotgun or pistol if weight is an issue. Overall, the long neck strengths lie in its very high damage, ease of production, and very simple ammo to make. Its cons, well, it's got low damage over time, in low capacity, one shot and you're out, and it's not exactly close quarters combat viable, but damn if it isn't my favorite gun. Leave me a comment if I forgot or got anything wrong, feel free to like and subscribe, and good luck out there.